In rounds this morning, we talked about Chiari malformations. And so I wanted just to take a moment to, to, to talk about uh, what is a Chiari malformation and what are some things that you should know about Chiari malformation. Chiari malformation is, uh, is sort of a group of conditions that is related to having um, abnormality in the back part of the brain. And the <coughs> Chiari malformation that uh, we talked about today is called a type 1 Chiari malformation. It's maybe the most common and uh, presents at all ages. Some patients are young in their, in their early years and others are in their 20s and 30s and, and, they're, and, and, uh, and older. A Chiari malformation essentially is where the back part of the brain called the cerebellum has descended down into the space where the spinal cord should be and it affects the spinal cord and the brainstem and it can also affect the spinal fluid flow that's supposed to occur in that area. Uh, we call this part of the cerebellum that's descended down the cerebellar tonsils. And uh, so, so the idea is that the tonsils are too low and causing a problem. What are the symptoms of a Chiari malformation? So there's three categories of symptoms to consider. One is the spinal fluid should flow where this area is. And if the spinal fluid isn't flowing well, the patients can get bad headaches. The headaches are worse when coughing or sneezing or bearing down. And so we will ask patients, describe your headache and is it worse when you're doing activity or when you cough? Another is direct pressure on the spinal cord or the brainstem. Patients can have problems with their vision. They can have problems with balance. They can have numbness and weakness and a variety of other complaints. The final one is sometimes the Chiari malformation can cause a buildup of fluid in the spinal cord called the syrinx, and that can put pressure on the spinal cord and cause spinal cord dysfunction, so we'll ask about that. How is a Chiari malformation diagnosed? Well, the symptoms give you a clue, and then we look at an MRI, and an MRI scan will show the cerebellum or these tonsils being too low and causing pressure. Finally, how is Chiari malformation treated? The primary treatment is surgical. It's a structural problem, and the treatment is to go in and uh, open up that area of the brain and decompress it and make sure that the spinal fluid is flowing. Uh, but there's also other things that can be done. One is good strength training exercises and stretching to help stabilize the area. And some patients can have a connective tissue disorder alongside a Chiari malformation that can exacerbate the problem. Chiari malformations are uh, common and we see them frequently in our practice. And I think it's a good idea to spend time counseling with your provider on the symptoms that you're having, whether or not it is likely related to a Chiari malformation seen on imaging and then does it make sense to undergo surgical intervention given uh, the symptoms, the degree of uh, abnormality, and then the risk of surgery.